Now we go ahead to find out the field on the equatorial plane of a dipole, right? So, so let us say again, we have a dipole like this, minus Q, plus Q. And the distances are taken from the center. And since this is an equatorial plane, it is like this, right? It is something like this. This is my equatorial plane. This is the line that joins these two to two charges of the dipole and the distance is, is 2a and this is the center because we, we, we take distances from the center. So this is a and this is a. Okay. Now let us say this is the point where we want to find out the electric field. This is the point. And this point as we said the distances are taken from the center. So this point is at a distance r. And obviously since this is perpendicular bisector, so this angle is 90 degree. This angle has to be 90 degree. Now this point is equidistant from these two, these two charges. Fine. And the magnitude of the charges is the same. So the magnitude of the field will be the same. I am not saying the direction, but the magnitude has to be the same. That means whatever vector length I make for one, the same vector length holds for the other one. So, so for this, for this charge, it is something like this okay it is something like this say something like this the black vector it is radially outward so it goes along the same line radiating out from this charge for this <coughs> for For this, it will be radially inwards, so, so something like that. So something like that. But the length of these two vectors are the same. Obviously the directions will be different and they are, right? <clears throat> Now, how do I sum it up? One way is to sum it up as two vectors, convert the whole thing into rectangular coordinate. But, but these two cases, the, the actual one and this, they, they lead to some amount of simplification. Fine, and we'll do that. And we'll do that. So what we do is this. This is E plus Q. This is E minus Q, right? Now, if this is a line which is parallel to this, then this vector, the above vector can be resolved into two components. It can be resolved into two components. Component one is this. Component two is that. Right? They are 
mutually perpendicular. Now similarly the blue vector I can split into two. One is this and the other is this. They are also mutually perpendicular. Right? Now, now, what do we do? We see that the vertical components are equal and opposite. Why are they equal and opposite? Because the upper and the lower vector are making the same angle, say, say, theta, with the, with the horizontal. So this is e cos theta, that is e sin theta. This is this is e cos theta, this is e sin theta. e plus q minus q, as we said, the directions are different, but their magnitude is the same. So so these two magnitudes are the same. This is this is what? This is e plus q sin theta. Right? This is the, the lower one. This is e minus q sin theta. Right? Uh, I am talking about this length. So they vanish. They cancel. Okay? So they cancel. So what remains? This vector is gone. This vector and this vector is gone. Why? Because they have been split into two. So, so this is not there. The vertical ones vanish. Because the vertical ones vanish because they are equal and opposite in length. And the horizontal ones are equal in the same direction, so they add. Right? So they add. Now, let us try to find out what is, what is E plus Q. E plus Q, magnitude wise, I'm not putting a vector sign, is, is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square plus a square that is this distance okay root over that we we need the square of this distance and the square of this distance is r square plus a square why because in this triangle in this right triangle we have this as r and this as a so r square plus a square is is this square of this hypotenuse is that and e minus q is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. So obviously, um, since I'm dealing with the magnitude, this or, okay, I'm, I'm just now dealing with the magnitude. And it shows me that the magnitudes are the same. Right. The magnitudes are the same. Now, what happens? What happens? The the net is is e plus q into cos theta from the upper one the same thing from the lower one because because magnitude wise they are the same and since these two vectors are in the same direction the resultant becomes this okay so e total is equal to this Okay, and and if this angle is theta, then this angle is theta, right? And if this angle is theta, then what is the cos theta in this triangle? It is base upon hypotenuse. So I get 2 into this. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into q upon r square plus a square. I am writing for this. e plus q is this. Okay. Into what is cos theta? Cos theta is base divided by hypotenuse. Okay. Now that is equal to 
वन अपॉन फोर पाई एप्साल नॉट इन टू टू ए क्यू अपॉन आर स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर टू द पार थ्री बाई टू इज इट नॉट इज इट नॉट now if r is very very greater than a then r square plus a square becomes approximately equal to r square okay therefore e total is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not into 2aq for that i write p so i write also 2aq is equal to p into p upon we have agreed to substitute it by r square so r square to the power 3 by 2 so that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not into p upon this will be r cube r cube right one more interesting thing is the direction of my dipole moment is this is this the direction of the field here is is this so they are in opposite direction now i am going to put in the vector sign over my field so e total is equal to it is in the opposite direction to p so so minus so so, so what i am doing 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not minus p is it not upon r q minus p okay this is minus p why because because this has ensured that the direction of the electric field flips to the other other direction so so ultimately i have my e total as minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not p upon r cube okay so this is the field due to the dipole on the on the equatorial plane field on the equatorial plane okay the field on the the field on the so this is the this is the field on the equatorial plane field on the equatorial plane what is the field on the field on the axial line we had found that to be to be 1 upon rather rather yeah 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not 2p upon r cube okay this was the field on the axis field on the axis this is the field on the axis okay now now let let us compare them it it's important to compare them because because later the magnetic fields also follow the same kind of thing so the first thing is that magnitude wise the axial field is twice 
that of the that of the the equatorial field what does it mean it means that it means that if i am at say this distance okay i am at this distance from here and i am at the same distance here on the equatorial plane i am the same distance there so the same distance there fine okay no slightly more i am the same distance there i am the same distance here then the equatorial field is twice in magnitude you see it will be something like this this will be only half so if i if i want to differentiate then what happens magnitude of the axial field is twice the equatorial field for the same distances or the same distances from the center of the dipole okay from the center of the dipole what is the second point the axial field field is in the direction of p that is the dipole moment while the equatorial field while the equatorial field is in the opposite direction do you see that it is in the opposite direction so same distance what what are you saying was if this distance and this distance is the same distance of p is the same as as q from the center means if op is equal to oq then this axial field will be double in length than this so the magnitude wise it is double but direction wise they are opposite one points in the direction of the dipole moment the other points in the direction of in the direction opposite to the dipole moment okay that is something that has to be kept in mind then this becomes very simple see so it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not instead of p it is instead of q it is p and instead of r square instead of r square in the in the denominator we have r cube right so 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 that can be a point of difference between the between the field field due to a charge and the field due to a dipole okay difference difference between difference between the field field due to a charge and that due to and that due to dipole 